guys. How's it going? It's X666X Iron Maiden. Uh, sorry if there's a little bit of humming in the background. I have a little AC unit in here with me because uh, summer's coming. It's getting hot. Uh, so sorry if that is slightly in the background. You probably won't hear it over the music anyway. Uh, today we are checking out Devorian for the first time on the channel with their song Alone, which features Tom Unglin from Evergrey. Um, somebody made me aware that this track uh, had came out I thought they made it sound like it was a little bit more recent, but apparently it was uh, four months ago. I've never heard of Devorian before, and I didn't know that he did a project with them. Uh, at least one song on here, anyway. Apparently two songs, actually, because um, there's another one that just got released within this last week, so this probably that probably came out after this request. Um, it also featured someone else that I didn't recognize the name. But uh, nonetheless, this was the one that was requested to check out. Uh, and as you know, we love Evergrey, so it was one that I was like, sure, I can do that one. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get into it, because I have no idea what they sound like. Let's find out. Since it feels like there's going to be lyrics in a sec, I want to point out that it sounds kind of uplifting, you know, kind of like a, a happier melody they're going with here. But the album's called Light and Dark. Okay, so the question is, does that mean we're going to get a mixture of sounds coming here? Because I don't know the group at all, so I'm kind of trying to predict it based on that. Maybe it's going to be some nice melodic songs that are kind of happy and also maybe on the darker side of things. Uh, could be even the lyrics, you know. Like, usually... And uh, an album title can mean something. It doesn't always, you know, obviously a lot of bands do self-titled albums and all that, but sometimes it's a theme, so I'm kind of curious if that's like a part of this. So far, I don't mind the track too much. It's not uh, it's not blowing me away or anything. I'm going to point that out right off the bat. But the most interesting part is um, I'm enjoying how the lyrics match with the style of music they chose to go with here very well. You know, like I said, it had like that uplifting kind of feel to it, like a happier mood set by the actual instrumentation parts of this. Uh, and then his lyrics, it's talking about hope a lot, like. I am feeling alone, but I hope uh, that, you know, this will pass, you know, kind of thing. Or I will no longer be alone, uh, to be more specific, I guess. Uh, and the music kind of gives off that feeling of hope. Puts you, it makes you feel like we're in a positive attitude by the just the way they wrote it. You know, it's not heavy, over-the-top heavy. It's not dark-sounding. It's not, like, over-the-top, just, like, high tempo. It's a very calm tempo with a very uplifting, like, melodic structure to it. Uh, and that's the coolest part of the thing so far. Um, 
most of the, the instrumentation and all that is kind of stuck to the same thing, but obviously he was singing these parts here, and I think they wanted the lyrics to be a standout in this case, from at least from the way it feels. Uh, so let's continue on and see what this next part brings. Got a little bit of a build-up going up now. Like they came in a little bit more built up than at the start of this section where he's going back from what it sounds like through the chorus again, possibly. And he didn't just like copy paste his first chorus. Uh, he sang that slightly different, just slightly throughout. He just changed up the way he said certain words, and obviously uh, on "Forever" he extended it and went a little bit further. As you can see, it probably looks like we're going into a little bit of a change up, and then maybe a solo, because the song does feel like a solo would fit into it. A very, you know, not too over the top, calm. Again, feeling feeling that that feeling of hope you can really get that with the guitar solo as well and i'm hoping they do that it's lining up to look like it's going that way that's prediction but i could be wrong Prediction spot on. a great solo it was like spot on from what i said they brought in very very calm solo you know didn't go too crazy like i said came in very calm just calming guitar solo not too over the top more melody driven and it works perfect as i said I, I felt like it would work perfect it did it they came through with that exactly as predicted and it actually sounded as good as i thought it would um and just a nice a few little uh good really nice parts in there that he threw in uh as part of that solo uh, especially near the end i was really starting to really get into it i was kind of hoping it'd be a little bit longer but that's uh, i think that's how it always feels with a guitar solo you always want to hear a little bit more when it's a good guitar solo let's finish it off and then we'll talk about the whole song nice That was really good. That was really good. I really enjoyed that. Um, nothing to blow you away, but it's more the message uh, that's really pushed forward here. Um, you know, it's just 
maybe you feel alone, but hey, hopefully in the near future something good's gonna come. You know, you just gotta keep that positive mindset. Uh, I'm not sure if it was Tom doing harmonies with himself at the end. Um, it sounded like him, but I don't know if this band has a lead singer. And if they do, I don't know if he sounds close to him. So you guys can let me know on that. Because um, I am I am curious uh, if if they do have a singer and and uh, what they would sound like to a certain degree. Um, vocals, welcome to by Tom and who appears in cursory. Okay. It looks like uh, it looks like it was all Tom for vocals. Okay. So yeah, not bad. First time checking out this group. You know, nothing to really like blow me away per se. Like you know, like that very like I really gotta listen to this group again kind of feel. Um, but I can never say anything bad about a song that has a positive message when it comes to mental health. For me personally, mental health is a, is been a huge part of my life. Some for me, a lot for people around me, uh, like people close to me throughout my whole life. And uh, I just love whenever there's positive messages that you can put into music. And someone that someone's going to hear this song and that's going to be like their song. They're going to be like, you know what? I keep a positive mindset. I'm not feeling great. I'm going to listen to my favorite song that gets me you know, in that mindset where it's not so bad. And songs like this is stuff that gets picked for that all the time. So someone's bound to enjoy this to the point where they're going to be like, that's my song now. They're going to pick it for that reason. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed checking this one out with me. If you did, please hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe if you want to be notified when I drop new videos. And as always, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you later.